Welcome to our review on uses of radioactivity. So what we're going to look at here then are what we can actually use ionizing radiations for in terms of beneficial uses to us. So first one then is looking at a smoke alarm. Now smoke alarms actually use a source of alpha radiation so we're going to use alpha particles here. Because we already know that our alpha particles are not very penetrating but they are very ionizing this means they're very well suited to our smoke alarms. So that weak source of alpha radiation will be releasing the alpha particles. As those alpha particles come into contact with the particles in the air, then they will become ionized. That then means that we're going to have a small current flowing through the circuit, as you can see in the diagram there. As long as that current is flowing, then that means the alarm is quiet. If, however, we've got smoke from a fire, the smoke will actually block that alpha particle and therefore stop it ionizing the air. As soon as we've not ionized the air, then we're going to see a drop in the current in the circuit and that then means the alarm goes off. So it's all down to the fact that our alpha particles are not penetrating. This actually works. Our next use is in paper mills. So what we actually see here then are that we've got our paper going through and it goes through these rollers and that's all to do with flattening and making it the same thickness. Now a bit further past those rollers you can see that there is a beta particle source on one side of the paper and on the other side we've got a detector. That's connected onto a counter which then feeds into those actual rollers. So what we see here is our beta radiation is able to pass through the paper but what we see is that if the paper gets thicker then we will see a drop in the beta particle count because obviously if the paper is thicker fewer beta particles will get through that's picked up by the detector and as a result that sends a message to the controllers of our rollers and as a result of that the rollers then squeeze together to make the paper thinner so it just monitors how many beta part particles actually pass through the paper and then moves the rollers accordingly when we think about gamma radiation then, these ones are very penetrating, but they're not very ionizing. One of the key uses for our gamma radiation is in terms of cancer treatments. So what we can actually do is use this device called a gamma knife to actually kill cancerous cells within the body. So what we can see is that we've got this movable source of gamma radiation in our actual machine there. Now, what's gonna happen is that's going to be focused on the location of the tumor at all times but it's going to move and the whole reason behind moving it is that we don't want the healthy cells surrounding the tumor to be killed as well so by moving the actual source around but keeping it focused on the tumor that means the healthy cells surrounding it get a lower dose which shouldn't kill them but the tumor gets a high enough dose in order to kill it we can also use our gamma rays as medical tracers. Now, this is where we're going to use a weak source of gamma radiation, which is either going to be injected or swallowed, depending on which bit of the body we need to study. And then we're going to use special cameras to detect the gamma rays passing out of the body. So this means that depending on, obviously, the level of radiation picked up, then we'll identify where there's a leak or a blockage in that one part of the body. So it's a way of identifying where a problem is without obviously having to carry out surgery. The other use for our gamma radiation then is in terms of sterilizing equipment. The gamma rays can actually be used to kill bacteria on instruments, making them safe to use. So this is important when we're thinking about these very delicate tubes and things like this made of plastic. Obviously we can't sterilize them through heating because you heat plastic up it's going to melt into a puddle which isn't going to be much use to us but using the gamma rays means that we can obviously sterilize this equipment that is very delicate in the grand scheme of things and wouldn't withstand high temperatures